Hi visitor, I'm a robot guy. I hope you like my cheesy men in black Will Smith suit and tie. But we all know that Dr. Johnson isn't going to wear a tie, or a suit, so I'll have to do. Today is about weight loss in fish. Speaking on discus, failure to gain weight can speak to a subpar food, or too infrequent feeding. Discus have tiny stomachs and do well with three or more tiny feedings a day. Or it could be worms, hexameta in the intestines, spironucleus, or plain old camelanus worms. These are treatable conditions. Water that's too cold will suppress appetite. On the, other, hand. Water that's too warm will speed the metabolism and burn too many calories. Add to that. A pH that is not to their liking can also put them off feed. I kept discus for a while. And I was finally successful by learning all the above, the hard way. Oh yeah. The hard way. Worse than, prison, if you know what I mean. Then I gave them up because they are quite finicky until you finally master the nuances of their care. People who are good at discus regard them as robust and hardy. The poop from wasting discus can be perfectly normal, and still contain several pathogens. But, tuberculosis may be at play. That's not on the treatable list. Makes me sad. Can't you tell from my cold, robotic voice? Stress can activate latently carried TB, and they just waste away. Sometimes, a really sick fish will have terrible aim at getting food. Try blood worms, and, or, frozen brine shrimp, they can hunt those by scent, and improve the odds of getting a mouthful. They can have normal poo and still have a parasite, as well. If other discus look fine, and are gaining weight. It sounds like a one fish problem, which could narrow it to a metronidazole responsive hexameter, or a tuberculosis case. Prozipro might be a good idea to try. Unfortunately, the medicine, clout, doesn't treat tapeworms. And Prozzi needs to be taken internally to treat for internal parasites. I said all this to say. Making sure the discus is warm, in a suitable, low, pH, with reasonably still, but aerated water, helps. Medicated food, a dewormer, or delivery of metronidazole is key. Treating parasites on the fish can't hurt. Cloud is good for flukes. Those can drain the fish of energy and strength. Feeding brine shrimp, blood worms, or some other live food is great. Diagnostics are the very best way to help. A fish veterinarian can perform several diagnostics, and arrive at a specific diagnosis with considerable ease. Just a moment if you don't mind. If using robot people to deliver this video content isn't cool with viewers, please let us know in the comments section, below. Also, please subscribe to this channel to be informed when the video about, what to do when your fish jumps out of the tank, is released. If you click, like, on this video, it ranks higher on YouTube and more people can find it. You have our thanks. I'm just a robot lady. Take care now.